Davis with us today to talk about a blog that was uh, posted last week and one that is coming up because yeah. the idea of drugs and autism, uh, you know, this is a very prevalent thing. And we talked before the break about the fact that Risperidol and Respidone, uh, these are very commonly, di doctors are prescribing them for autism. Yeah, yeah. and it's... It's, you know, I, I, there was one parent that wrote to me um, when I posted the article on the TACA Facebook page, like you guys do, we post and share a lot of news. And then based on feedback and information that I write about it and more in depth, and that's what's coming up later this week. Mm -hmm. And she wrote me, um, my son was offered Risperidol by a psychiatrist at age two. At the time, he had no aggressive behaviors. He just wasn't developing speech and was stimming or self-stimulatory behavior all the time. The doctor told me it was for his autism. I knew nothing about biomedical or other interventions back then, but, um, but fortunately, my alarm bells went off and I said no to this offer. How many families are out there that are being offered this, but maybe haven't looked at side effects or um, are wondering if these drugs have been long-term studied and they really haven't? And so. it's important to note that because I think that parents feel like, well, this is the expert who's talking to me. The doctor says to do it, that this is good for autism. And they, but I, I haven't talked to a single parent that didn't have some sort of feeling about, oh, I'm not sure if I want to do this. And yet a lot of them go ahead and do it. So, so talk about some of this more recent news about these drugs. Yeah. Well, Johnson & Johnson um, got in the history books this week, um, not for the best thing, but the largest healthcare related settlement of $2.2 billion, that's with a B. Yeah. Um, and the press basically announced the penalties that they were involving fines uh, from the federal government in several states for involving Risperidol. And, um, these drugs uh, were falsely advertised, and doctors were also um, uh, given kickbacks for prescribing these drugs in the elderly community. That's what this fine is for. But please note, this drug has been in trouble in years past. So it's not um, that just this, this particular fine, $2.2 billion for the elderly. Risperidol has had issues before. And in fact, some of the issues that can arise from Risperidol are quite shocking. Yeah, in uh, 2011, uh, a lawsuit was filed, and this will be referenced in um, the blog later this week, about gynecomastia. And uh, it's a big word. I probably said it incorrectly. No <laughs> it sounded reading. good to me. Thank you. Uh, um, but basically, it's a side effect uh, from Risperidol uh, for males where they develop breasts. And in some case, these breasts lactate. Lactating yeah. breasts. Lactating uh. breasts in young boys and males. And, you know, that doesn't get on the national news. Um, and yet, these drugs are being prescribed to our young and little boys, you had that, the the person who wrote it and said, offered to her son at the age of two. And it's not uncommon. We get that request um, through, we like for example, we've taken over 22,000 incidents of support January through October this year. Wow. Common questions do include, you know, uh, anti-psychotropic uh, medication. So we do discuss that. and. Um, it's not that we're doctors, and I'm not a doctor. I, I, I've never professed to say I am a doctor, but you know, we, we use, I love Western Med because we've solved a lot of problems with research and medications. I have a deep respect for prescription pads. Yeah. But at the same time, some of these drugs are prescribed to maybe mask or hide um, issues that may be coming to the forefront um, that maybe may be, uh, an underlying medical condition that can be treated. And I think when you have a child on the spectrum where the hallmark of the disability is the inability to communicate or communicate effectively, you know, they can't tell us that, hey, I got reflux or um, I feel like I got a migraine um, or, or my, my stomach is blowing up. I have to poo like nobody's business and they communicate that to you. So for parents, they really, really have to be Sherlock Holmes.